Okay, today we're going to discuss controlling a Festo EXCM mini H gantry via a CM HPP module, which is a CPX product, and a CPX FB36 and a Rockwell PLC. So the uh, the Rockwell PLC is going to communicate Ethernet IP to the FB36, and the CMHPP module will communicate CAN open to the EXCM. This is our general setup right here. And we have a Festo maintenance tool project here, which is free software from the Festo website. Preferences, go online. We find the device, so this is us connecting to the FB36. Go online, there's our IP address and whatnot. In our parameters of the HPP module, we have configured the EXEM for node three. All the rest of the access are turned off. We're on a revision seven, revision eight for the 36. At this point, uh, you've configured everything. You can do a L5K export, um, and that will create an L5K export, which then you can go and import to your PLC. Um, the, the next step is the Festo configuration tool software. When we're offline, we simply configure our EXEM, simply go through the things, can open network, our node is three, the Fastest baud rate is what is expected on the CMHPP module. General limitations. You only typically get this after you've been online for the first time and saved the project or uploaded it. Uh, you can use the record table if you so like. This particular application only discusses direct mode. And that's it for the configuration here. To get online to this, FCT interface, scan, you select the axis that you find. If you don't like that axis, you can go in here and you can modify the network however you want. I can go online here. At this point, I can go to the bottom. If I want to, I can turn this FCT on and I can uh, enable it and I can commission the axis from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was telling him to do a relative move that was beyond his travels. And home the axis, or jog it, I mean. Jog it. I can go down to homing, and I can hit start homing. It will home the axis. Now it's been homed. I can optimize it. I can monitor different things. I can do a read for diagnostics. Um, and that's just, so turn that off, and now we have the PLC to contend with. So in the PLC, we did the L5K export in the Festo maintenance tool software. This then was imported to this particular project here. It takes a snapshot of the CPX manifold by doing that. Um, populates the IP address. Make sure that you select unicast. Uh, one millisecond is uh, the lowest RPI that can be used on the FB36, but, you know, to be reasonable, let's go with 10 milliseconds here. Um, the FB36 generic module import, once it's done, you'll see that it configures and adds uh, the configuration data, populates this, these fields here. Like I said, it's a snapshot, and your full configuration data that you've taken a snapshot of will be downloaded on first scan of the PLC because the configuration word is not a zero in the generic configuration. And then you've got input data and output data for that FB36. The Festimated tool software will populate similar to this. I have modified the values right here to reflect values that are the data map for the uh, the physical EXCM controller. This here uh, is in this particular document here on the website of Festo. 
and it shows you that you know record mode direct mode direct mode is what we're discussing today and one of the flaws or one of the drawbacks to this particular EXCM is that there are no AOIs available uh, add-on instructions for the Rockwell PLC. So what I've done is I've done some sample code to kind of accelerate your project here. And the way the design of my code is, is that you've got some map inputs, map outputs. Um, you'll see here that that is the, the tags where we just looked at, starting address. And the same thing for the map outputs. It's the starting address of the map outputs for the raw data. So once you've done that, confirm that the information is being passed back and forth. Um, at that point, you are ready to start using the code. So within the code itself, you have to make sure your record uh, or your selected a a mode of operation, which in this particular application, I'm only using direct mode. In direct mode, what we do is we send, um, we populate the set point position, X and Y, and we give it a, a velocity right here, and we tell it to go to that position. And in the meantime, it's telling us what the actual position are, tells us whether there's faults, and these bits right here, the SCON, CCON, CPOS, SPOS, they all give a status of a variety of different things, which is all discussed in this particular manual here. And once we have the mode set to direct mode, next thing we do is turn on the drive, make sure we have drive ready. I'm just control T for, for toggle right there. Make sure we have no faults, which we don't. If we did have a fault, I have taken the liberty of uh, doing a fault number to string uh, conversion for you. So the, the string number, the string will be down here as well. First thing we need to do because everything is uh, steppers is we have to home the axis. Control T holds down the start key. It homes the axis. Homing sequence complete. Then we have direct mode. These are all the individual moves that I'm going to call from my sequence. So these are the moves. This is the sequence. And you populate, you put your, your velocity, your X and Y axis desired positions. And when you turn this bit on, toggle the bit, it's now going to start cycling through. See here, I was cycling through the variety of positions. And that's it. Code works. Toggle the bit off. It will finish its sequence of moves. And now it stopped. And that's it. I hope this code is of some value.